everyone. We got a lot of news for today's video. Listen to this. The standard. Swift head of innovation said this would help solve a huge technology and industry challenge facing CBDCs. And it could enable us to help central banks make their own CBDC network cross-border payment ready. Right? It's all about this future era, guys. Right? Actually, it's basically here. We have heard from some people. It already has begun. Now, Swift processed 42 million messages a day last year, but transactions on the network can take several days to complete. It is striving to maintain its relevance in the international economic order, especially in regard to CBDCs. Many developers foresee CBDCs interacting outside the traditional network, potentially with the aid of Ripple's XRP. Guys, it is all here. Do people still not see? The proof in the pudding. I mean, it's staring people at their faces, guys, right? Wow, what a beautiful sight to see right there. But on the other side of the story, we have this right here, which is very interesting. Lagarde says crypto is worth nothing and should be regulated. Huh? Where else have we seen this statement? Brad Garlinghouse says 99% of cryptocurrencies will probably go to zero. <gasps> what? 9-11 again look at that guys emergency right this is why guys regulations is inbound and most of these coins will go to lit literal zero so prepare because i wouldn't want to be in any meme coin or useless coin that's not helping that's not going to help solve a real world problem but that's just me not financial advice right Utility coins will reign supreme. As we see the picture right here, Bitcoin has to go as well, guys, unless it gets saved. European Central Bank President Christine Lagarde said cryptocurrencies are based on nothing and should be regulated to steer people away from speculating on them with their life savings, right? What happened with Terra and UST? Lagarde told Dutch television that she's concerned about people who have no understanding of the risks who will lose it all and who will be terribly disappointed which is why I believe that the that should be regulated again this is why regulations are inbound guys right the comments come amid choppy times for the crypto market with digital currencies Bitcoin and Ether down 50% from last year's peak and then as well as Regulators worried about the dangers if it may pose to the broader financial system as well, right? But we know XRP is going to complement the new financial system, right? It's going to be the heart of it as well. Don't forget, guys, Christine Lagarde is already in the know. She definitely is. My very humble assessment is that it is worth nothing. It is based on nothing. There is no underlying asset to act as an anchor of safety, she said. Again, it's all right there. The day when we have the central bank digital currency out, the digital euro, right? I think it's vastly different than many of those things. Interesting from the other cryptos and whatnot. And now we see creating a new wild west basically, right? So these people are basically warning everyone that, hey, these cryptocurrencies will definitely go to zero. I agree with you. I think there are too many. There are around 3,000 different digital assets that trade on a daily basis now. I think anytime there's a new market, there are a lot of people who run into that market to show that they could solve a problem and deliver customer needs. I have said publicly before that 99% of crypto probably goes to zero, and that was from Brad Gollinghouse himself, right? I remember these two people know each other, right? They were in the same room as each other. So this is how we know something is happening, right guys? Do people still not see what's taking place? Following on from this, Garlinghouse explained that the remaining 1% of projects which are focused on solving real world problems or real problems for customers at scale will thrive like XRP. What it's, what, how it's going to change the financial landscape, right? Come on guys. We see right now, Look at that hype cycle. So I'll just be prepared and all of these things. Now listen to this. David Schwartz talks about how Swift sucks. Swift, it's not like Swift is making a whole bunch of money, right? Swift is basically almost like a money neutral 
uh, thing. It, we didn't. It was not like we wanted to take over this lucrative pay, business. Um, we just needed it to. We needed things to work better in order for us to 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 like get people to use a cryptocurrency for payment. And so we built this system, RippleNet. Um, and, and we, you know, we, we looked at all the problems that we brought the failure rate down. We brought the settlement time down. Even it's crazy, but end to end messaging prior to a payment is revolutionary, which is it's ridiculous. Like you go to a bank and you tell them you want to make an international payment. You tell them, how much is this going to cost me? Oh, we don't know. How much money is going to be delivered? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> Cause there's no messaging, right? The money is just sort of pushed down a pipe and eventually something will come out the other side and a significant fraction of payments that don't fail still the customer calls to check on the payment because they don't know, because they'll tell you it takes three to six business days. So when do you call them? I mean, it's just, so we had to, we, we kind of wound up having to fix like the whole payments infrastructure. And I think we built, we, I mean, we think we built RippleNet, which is a genuinely like better payment technology. We have the XRP ledger, which I think is a genuinely better payment technology. And that is exactly why XRP will be at a very high price, guys. It's very simple, right? Think about the utility side of XRP and what will it solve, right? What is the pure nature of XRP? It's a deflationary asset by nature. Do we know what that means? Come on guys, XRP gets burned, which forces the price to go up nowhere, but up again. It's all in the code. Now, this is absolutely just mind blowing stuff. Listen very carefully. Everyone should watch this. So Kevin O'Leary talks about a company, something being sacrificed to mark the bottom. Could it be Tether perhaps? Listen to this right here. And what does come next, Kevin? Because I'm sure you get stopped all the time. I do as well by, by worried investors saying, you know, I've just lost millions. Um, you know, how do we know if the bottom is near? Have we bought him now? No, generally a bottom, and I've seen this movie so many times before, is you need a big institution to go bankrupt. That always helps. I mean, you have to sacrifice an institution to get this to work because then you get a dramatic flushing of equity positions as panic sets in, margin calls are called in, shorts, you know, uh, are bought, they basically bought themselves in already. And then you get this big leg down. Usually it's five to 10%. And that is the bottom process we need. Now, this time I was thinking it might be in, a, in the crypto space, but that's already been decimated. And so it may be something else, a financial services company, or you know, there was some rumors about Coinbase that, that turned out not to be true, but you, you need, somebody's offside somewhere on a leveraged hedge position. You just don't know who it is yet. And they're big. And we're gonna wake up in the next 10 days, 20 days, and you're gonna find out there is zero. That's a good thing. And I'm waiting for that to happen because we're, we're getting close to a bottom here. Okay, so when that happens, any, feeling as to what company it could be kevin what sector no i i you know the it's hard to say it, it, there's it, it's generally it usually happens in financial services where somebody was trying some strategy um a leverage strategy it's always leverage that does this or, or a hedge fund hedge funds a good hedge fund that loses 10 or 20 billion that's also good uh for flushing and, and that's happened many times before these are guys that you know, have never seen this kind of a market. So they set up a position that went awry, couldn't unwind their, their, their leverage and they just get wiped out. Um, and again, you know, I, I feel sorry for them, but I think it's very healthy when that happens. And, we, and the trouble with this correction is it's a slow grind down one to 3% a day. And you don't really bottom till you get that flush. Interesting guys, again, we still have to find the bottom probably, right? Like we've been talking about, I'm pretty sure we go up a little, right? For a relief bounce and then fall all the way back down and that will mark the bottom. Now, XRP Crypto Wolf is out. Listen to this. BitTrue users are holding over 440 million of, of XRP and data shows that 73% of users are long, right? And this is why exactly, guys, you should be wary of, of if we're going to moon any day now because I don't, I personally, in my belief, don't think we will right now why because look at these longs guys everyone is longing xrp 73 percent of users guys that's insane as soon as there's a lot more shorts than longs i'm pretty sure they'll mark the bottom right because now everyone's so fearful extreme panic and all those emotions will arise into people 
which will then obviously mark the bottom. So I'm still waiting to see if we're, if we're going to have another dump. If we will, then that'll be like the final last train event. So buy as much as you can. Obviously not financial advice, but that's how I think it's going to be playing out here very shortly. Up, then down, right? But anyways, that's all for you guys. Enjoy this video. If you guys have a please leave a like. So after the video, please subscribe. Have an amazing day. And you guys, see ya.